Hi, in today's tutorial, we're going to create a very simple PHP templating system. Okay, so um, what we're going to use this for is to create a single index page that will handle, that will display all the pages we want for our, for like a website. So in my directory, I created a uh, index.php uh, file and then a views folder, which is going to hold each separate page. And then within this index file, we're going to link to our header page, which I'm going to put the navigation in here, which is, and you can see this is just a simple, uh, not a full page. And then the footer page is going to be included in my index page, which is going to keep the bottom. And then we're going to have a home page, which will display the information from the home page. So let's go ahead and get started in our index page. Let's start with our open PHP tags. And we're going to do. Let's go ahead and include. Views. And we're going to do header. Dot PHP. Then we're going to do include. Views. Footer. Dot PHP. Save that. Hop in Google Chrome, refresh, let's look at the source, and this is what we get. So it's going to combine <clears throat> the two files within that page. All right, so we can get out of that. And right here, we're going to include views. Slash. Uh, for now, let's just do this. Home. PHP. Okay. And then we go back into our. Back into Chrome. Refresh. The source is displaying the home page. All right, so we can close this out. And then let's go ahead and make this dynamic. All right, what we're going to do is up here at the top, let's do if statement, if is set, get page. All right, so what this is going to do is allow for this index.php. And we do page equals say home. And this will display the home page or the about page or blog, whatever you want to uh, put in there. And so if that's set, we're going to do page equals get page. If that's not set, do page equals home. That will be our default page. So we can go down in here and go let's do this. Go page dot PHP all right so that will work so let's go ahead and go into our views create a new file save this as about dot PHP h1 about page save back in the Chrome, go here and let's do page equals home. That works. And about. All right. So we see that that works. Now let's go ahead and do simple error, uh, error checking. So, like, say if somebody was to do a uh, blog, 
don't want that to pop up. So what we can do is with a simple if statement right here. Do if the file doesn't exist, we can do something like this. Let's go, actually let's go right here first. I'm gonna do page equals page and we add the dot PHP to it. Then we can remove that from here. And then from right here, we can do views. page so if that file does not exist just for the sake of this tutorial we can do uh, die error page not found okay so let's save that back into Chrome refresh page not found if we do about okay all right and then if we was to take all this off the home page pops up all right so let's go ahead and go into the header page and then we can go ahead and uh add some navigation so we can do nav ul li okay we need two of them with anchor tags oh. okay that's not working so let's All right, so we can do index.php. For this, we can do home. Index.php. Page equals about. All right, save that. Refresh. Now we have links on each uh, page. So that's how to make a uh, really quick, simple PHP templating system. Uh, maybe, and if, if enough likes, or if this video is liked enough, I'll show how to do a dynamic uh, links, how to search through the, search through and loop through the views directory to pull out the page, uh, pages for the links. So go ahead and give this video a like. And uh, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe now. Thanks.